I know you're probably wondering why I have trailer tires. Why I have trailer tires whenever this is supposed to be a truck build channel. But I did say my channel is going to have a little bit of everything on it. Now, I'm actually going to be putting this build on my channel as well. It's a trailer that I'm going to be building. These just happen to be the wheels that came off of it. The trailer, it's actually supposed to be, well right now it's actually a, uh, a pull behind camper. But I, I'll upload the picture of that so you can see why I'm not using it as a camper. I bought this from someone and uh, yeah, the picture will explain everything. I literally only bought the trailer just for uh, to rebuild it into a trailer, but you know, got to do with what you got to do. And this is more or less a restoration on the wheels. This is actually going to be part one of my mini videos on this trailer. But this is going to be the first thing that I start with because I can't even bring the trailer home. I can't even bring the trailer home without the wheels on it. So. This is gonna be the first thing that I do. It is getting new tires on it. The wheel's gonna stay. I'm just gonna to try to clean it up, make it look really pretty. And I will, this is gonna be the video on uh, restoring the wheel. So let's get started. So this is, this is just a cheap Sawzall that I got from Walmart. It's a hyper tub. I use it on a couple of projects. It actually works really good. You know, uh, this is what I'm gonna to use to cut the tire off take it off the wheel because I'm not going to try to fight it and try to take it off by, by removing it off the rim and everything. I'm just going to cut it off. But this, this is how I'm going to do it. Alright guys. So you can see that the saws all work to cut right through it, right? I did not know it was this hard to take a tire off. I'm going to have to end up grinding it off, but you know, didn't want to because I really don't want to damage the rim. But it seems like I don't have another choice. So, check it out. So I know there's probably an easier way to do this, but I don't know that easier way. So this is the way that I choose to get it off. But I finally got it, I think, and I'm gonna get to doing this second one. I don't, I probably won't show y'all that one. It's way too long, but then we'll get it. We'll get to with the how it looks with the wheel off, and I'll go over what I'm planning on doing to the wheel. So. These ugly ass wheels are finally ready to get prepped for paint. I'm debating, I don't know if I want to sand the inside of them or not. It could use them, you know what, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to paint the insides as well. I am being a little cheap, but I'm also really trying to show you guys that you can build a trailer pretty cheap you know I, I don't have a budget on how much I'm trying to spend on this trailer build but you know uh, I've already built one before granted the wheels and tires were brand new so and they were pricey you know I, I think it was like 119 starting for wheel and tire now all I gotta buy is just a tire for this. I'm looking maybe a hundred bucks, I, I think. Um, or less, less probably would be better, but I already bought the paint. I am gonna be using rattle cans, uh, spray paint, you know. I bought the paint primer and the clear coat. Uh, what I plan on doing is sanding, not today, it's getting really late. Clearly you can see that it's dark out. Uh, we get out really late from work, but you know. What I plan on doing is, is sanding, well, grinding, grinding all the rust off, all the old paint, uh, sanding the wheel, priming it, and throwing a fresh coat of spray paint on it. Um, 
I am using spray paint. It's cheaper. I could paint them, but I don't have a spray gun, so I'd rather just do it the spray can way. It's, you get the same results. They last just as long, and when I want to touch it up, I just use a spray can. It's no big deal. All right, guys. So they do make a uh, wire cup, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to use this wire this wire wheel and see if I can't clean it up with this. But let me go grab my safety glasses first. All right, so as you can see that I sanded it down while I grinded it down and you know used the, the wire wheel. Um, I also buffed off all the really bad rust so it looks a lot better. I mean, still a little bit bumpy because it was really bad. Honestly, I don't even know when the last time the, the truck, I mean the camper was even moved, but you know, it had a lot of rust on it. I got it all cleaned up. I mean, I couldn't get inside of all of that, but it's fine. It's just a restoration, you know. Um, something that I just want to build for myself. So eventually later on down the road, I'll get some new wheels, but for now I'm just gonna have to make do with what I got. So this is just a comparison on what they looked like before they were grinded down. This is what they were looking like, so it looks a lot better now. So before priming and painting the wheel, you wanna make sure that the wheel is clean. So I use Windex. You can use rubbing alcohol, but Windex was the only thing that I had available, so that's just what I used. So the directions on the can said three coats, one to two minutes between each coat, so that's all I did. So like I said, right here you see me spraying the sides. I did end up deciding to sand and primer and paint the sides as well as well as the back but I don't think I'm going to show you the back just because I don't want this video to be super long. So the paint that I'm using for this project is a white enamel of Rust-Oleum. So the instructions on the can said to shake the can well. So I took it by shake the shit out of the can. So that's exactly what I did is shake the shit out of the can. Alright guys, but on a serious note, the can did say three coats, two to three, maybe five minutes uh, apart, just depending on how quick it dried. So I think that's about what I did, and I did three coats, so here's that. And BAM! Just like that, fresh coat of white paint on the wheels. Looking good, right? What's going on, guys? So, I ended up getting the, the tires for the for the trailer. There ended up being 175, 80 by 13. Uh, what it had originally was 165 by 13. So I did get a little bit bigger. That way it holds a little bit more weight, but this is what the tire came out looking like after everything was done. So 
Well, this is just a quick clip of what the wheel and tire looks like together. These are used tires, but they still looked really good. They were in really good condition. Uh, together for both, I paid 40 bucks. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more, but it ended up being really cheap. Got a great deal on them. Shout out to the tire shop. But yeah, guys. So that was a tire. I ended up getting both of them for right at $40. Uh, I did cut the old valve stems off, so that cost me another $3 a piece, but still a pretty good deal for both the, the wheels. Uh, and tire actually uh, the wheels are the original ones that were already on the camper and I just sanded them down painted them, make them look nice and pretty and my next thing that I'm gonna do to it is buy new lug nuts and stuff like that just to make it look a little bit prettier but really but yeah that's my part one for the trailer build guys